Action. Hey, this is Nick with Team Doggins, and I'm here with the creators of Marble Hornets and Subway Product Placement. Hi there. <laughs> we love Subway. Uh, <laughs> give us money now. Also, Scooby Snacks. Yeah. Right. So uh, the first question I wanted to ask is, uh, obviously this is in the found footage genre, but the thing I think that makes it so much more interesting is the fact that it invites the viewer into the process of compiling the found footage. Yeah. Was that always part of the intent, or was that just by necessity? You're like, well, we want to do this episodically, so... It kind of came with the uh, the way we set it up. We ha always had to keep in mind that shooting the footage and putting the footage on YouTube and stuff always had to be in character almost. Right. Yeah, so it was definitely something. It's not something that we like said, oh, we have to do it like this. It's just we have to do it like this because that's how it yeah. goes. That's yeah. a terrible answer, but you know, what, you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Just by necessity of yeah. the fourth wall. Okay. Yeah. Um, my other, uh, another question, did the hotels have any idea you were filming there, or was it just like we rented a room and we filmed? That, no. That's pretty much exactly what happened. Yeah, they, they would... I mean, they probably had some suspicions when we walked in with camera equipment, but they never said anything if you they suspected camera something. equipment, and then they asked what you guys were doing, and you said, we're here to study. Yeah. Shoot a porno, what? Uh -huh. That's probably what it looked like the most, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I um, also wanted to ask, uh, you introduced Jessica in season two, and I was wondering, did you cast that role, or was she just someone you knew, or how'd that come about? She is the only person who has auditioned to be in Marvel Hornets, so I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, we held auditions for the character of Jessica. She was like, we didn't, we never planned to add her in season two, or not in season one, we never planned to add a character like her, but then in season two, we realized that we should have some kind of other character there by Jay's side for a little bit because just having him wander around by himself all the time like might not work forever so that's why we added Jessica that's why we added Tim later so just to have something for Jay to bounce off of and everything but yeah she was uh we had we held auditions uh and she was the first thing you got it. oddly enough uh the character's name was Jessica before we got her so like her name being the same as Jessica's was like yeah. just a weird coincidence. Her, the actress's name is Jessica as yeah. well. So. Yeah, so they're both, so we, we kept up with the trend of having yep. our real names without yeah. realizing it. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, I just want to say the part to me that sucked me in and for a lot of my friends was like the thing that really... The part yeah. that sucked. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I have I couldn't think of one actually off the top of my head that sucks, okay. but that the part that sucked me in was uh, when you introduced the memory loss, when it was like, I have no memory of this happening. How did that come about when developing the mythos? Uh, I can't remember if we did that in season one or not. It was. It was, it was, okay. it was like halfway through season we one. I thought that the amnesia aspect of it, like having Jay see himself in the footage and not remember that, was a really scary prospect without actually having the operator appear or anything like that. It's just the fact that he's lost these large tracks of time and like then, not being able to account for them, that's pretty scary. Because yeah. then it also opens up the prospect of what else don't I remember that didn't get captured on camera. Right. Yeah, it kinda kinda held open this held open this story door yeah. of like things getting by you without being shot, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, my last question is one of the effects that the uh, that Slenderman has on the video footage is that it starts to like tear a little and it has those issues was that always the plan or was that like a retcon thing where it's like oh look we have these tears let's make that into something that was always the plan yeah, from, yeah from the operator one. has always that's actually one thing that uh it's become kind of canon for Slenderman, even though we did it with our character the operator which you know it was obviously heavily inspired by the Slenderman. but you know we pick and chose the things we liked like we didn't do tentacles we didn't do like kidnapping kids or uh, hanging people in trees yeah hanging people yeah. up in trees or anything like that we wanted to do our own thing and we just thought the initial concept was really cool uh, and now like Slenderman has kind of appropriated that from us too the same way we took like the faceless guy you know yeah yeah, yeah. it was it was something that was really fun to make in the beginning and we just kind of kept running with it yeah, yeah. well thank you all for your time I love your show and it was great to meet you all nice yeah, to meet you too much. thank nice you. To meet you too enjoy your lunch <laughs> this is Nick with GeekVision.TV.
So uh, this is a question for the Marble Hornets guys. Okay. I don't remember the exact number of the entry, but uh, the entry where Tim uh, goes through the uh, abandoned hospital and gives his kind of backstory about how he used to have the hallucinations, mm -hmm. that whole thing was one take. And I was wondering how many, did you just do that in one take or was it like you get halfway through, it's like, damn it, you gotta go back and start over? That happened a lot, but yeah, yeah that we 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 ended up having to go back and shoot that uh, over the course of like several Weeks. days because we it didn't it kept not working and we had to come back and everything. But between inclement weather and also just not liking the feel, I think that took almost two weeks to shoot. Because, but, yeah, it was one take. But I think there were it wasn't all like we I did the whole monologue in one take, but I don't think that. The whole thing on its itself was one take. Yeah, it was. Is, no, it was. Oh, it yeah. was. I mean, unless you did a really good job of hiding the cuts. Because no, I know it's, Well, he's really good at doing that anyway. That, but there wasn't a cut. There. I thought I that's, really so. There wasn't any like. Did you not ADR from a different take or anything like that? Maybe once, yeah. but I mean, it's. I, I didn't change the video at all. Occasionally, he'll be lucky enough where somebody's mouth movements will be the same for two different takes, and he can swap them out. Plus, one that's better. But I don't yeah. think that happened that time. I yeah. Think, uh, because I, I remember editing that one and being surprised, like, oh, I don't have to really do anything for this. Nice job, Tim. Thanks. <laughs> we found that, I think that might have been where the term Sutton's Limit was born. Yeah. Uh, which is a phrase we use where you rehearse something enough where it's just, it doesn't get better anymore. So you just stop rolling the camera. Or it's, we it's were not... wasting so much time doing extra takes that we knew we weren't going to use because they were exactly the same yeah. as the one before. Uh, so that was definitely a case there where we were trying desperately to reach Sutton's limit, and then we did, and we still got a bunch of takes. Yeah. Because yeah. it turned out phenomenal. And I was watching with my friend, and I had to pause and go, I think this has all been one take. He goes, no, no chance. <laughs> it was. No, this is, this is all one take. It was really scary to do, because I had to hold the camera and point at him and everything, and I was like, please don't mess up, please don't mess up, please don't mess up. Yeah. And then he did, and I hated him. <laughs> a lot of the a lot of the times where it looks like one take, it usually is a, It's usually kind of fuzzed a little bit, but that one actually was. So. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks.